Happy New Year everybody. I'm Scott Willison, owner of the Confluence Fly Shop in Bellingham, Washington. Uh, we're about to kick off our first uh, fly tying video of a new decade. And being that it is winter here in the Northwest, we're going to tie a winter steelhead fly. Um, this is a variation of one of my favorite uh, steelhead flies, the Susqua Poacher. Uh, we're going to tie it on a tube today. Um, so we're going to call it the SPT or Susqua Poacher Tube. Uh, I'm starting out with a uh, ProTube Flexi Needle in, in my vise here. This is going to allow us to uh, adapt this into a tube fly vise. And we're going to tie on a clear ProTube uh, Flexi Tube. This is comprised of a narrow part and a thick part. The thick part is going to allow us to accommodate a, a hook. That's the hook holder. And then we're going to tie on the narrow part of the tube. Since I won't be needing the entirety of this back portion here, I'm just going to trim it to length to suit my, my needs. And then we'll go ahead and slide that onto the, the mandrel there. This is a tapered needle, so you slide back far enough and it'll actually stop and prevent it from spinning. Uh, for our thread today, we're going to use a 70 denier ultra thread. Generally, when I'm tying on tubes, I like to go a little thinner on my thread or use a smaller thread because I'm dealing with the bulk of that tube and I don't want things to get too thick on me. Um, we're going to start off by tying just a little uh, kind of support ball here for our back hackle. And for that, we're going to use uh, UV jelly uh, in the blackjack color. This is a really cool product out of the UK. Works well for a lot of different things, but this is basically a chenille, and I'm going to strip away some fibers from the core. So I've got a nice little narrow tie-in point. Once I've got that tied in, we're going to take about three wraps with this. And we'll trim that off. Then for our back hackle, I am going to use a black uh, spay quill marabou. And I like to start by just stripping away all the fluffy stuff at the back of the feather that I'm not going to need. And then you can see I've got just a nice clean tip prepared there. Go ahead and cut the tip portion off that feather. Then we'll tie that in by the tip. And when you're working with marabou and winter steelhead flies, less is more. I'm going to get about two, maybe three turns of this. away some of that extra stuff that we don't need so we can have a nice clean tie-in point. And then there we go. We're going to add a little bit of flash to the back here. I'm going to use an electric blue, a flash boost 6908. We'll do a couple strands of that on each side. And 
and I'm just gonna tie those in on the near side of the hook and then we'll just fold them around over to the opposite side and then we're gonna do a flashaboo 6906 this is a copper flashaboo and we'll do the same thing just a couple strands And then we'll kind of trim those up a little bit. Don't want them all the same length, so we're just going to kind of cut them a little bit here and there. And we're good. Next for the body, I'm going runaway tool there. Um, we're going to use a flat silver diamond braid here. This is going to add a little bit of flash to the body of the fly and give it some space in between so this marabou can really move and breathe. I'll just do one wrap after the next. Got some flashaboo that needs taming there. Alright, I'm going to advance my thread forward a little bit just to make sure what I'm tying on has thread on it, otherwise your materials will slip out or slip around on the hook there. But we're going to go ahead and take what we have left of our UV jelly and we're going to make another little support ball here for our hackle. get three wraps in there and then trim that off now for our front hackle we're gonna change colors here I've got a purple spake wheel marabou feather and we're going to prep that just like we did the other one just strip away that stuff from the back Go one, two, three. Trim that. 
that off. All right, and for our last little bit of flash here, I'm gonna use some chartreuse crinkle mirror flash. This is really reflective stuff. I'm just gonna add a little bit more pizzazz to this fly. And we'll tie this in the same way we did everything else. So just a couple, couple strands down each side. I tie them on the near side of the tube and then we'll loop around to the other. And then get those trimmed up. I like to leave those ones a little bit longer on the side. Um, last little bit we're gonna finish it off with is just a nice collar of Kingfisher Blue Schloppen. We want to make sure we get this tied in with the concave side of the feather facing down. That way as we take our wraps it will actually flow backwards. Okay, we'll wrap this little collar here. There we go. And to finish this off, we're just going to brush our thread with a little bit of brush on super glue. Take a few wraps. few more wraps. Go ahead and throw half hitch in there for good measure. Thread broke at just the right time. And we'll cut that off. Now we're going to finish this fly off with a cone head, which is a very neat way to finish these tube flies off. Um, I've got a size medium uh, pro tube cone head. One of the cool things about all this pro tube stuff is it's all sized to fit with each other. So pretty much anything you buy is going to work with everything else. So we've got that little cone on there and then we'll just carefully slide our tube off and then the way that we're going to get this cone to stay on here, I'm just going to trim that plastic pretty close to the, the cone and then we'll just melt that down so it sticks. And then I like to put it back on the mandrel and just make sure we clear out the eye of that that uh, plastic because sometimes it'll fill in when you burn it 
But anyway, there you have it, the SPT, or Susquepoacher tube, uh, ready to fish on a river near you. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.